Do you like having control of your workday? Or do you prefer when someone tells you what to do in each and every situation? Empowerment is the ability to act and make decisions with autonomy. Employees who are empowered have the resources and support to work independently and be accountable for their work. Giving employees a say in company decisions that affect them is an example of empowerment. Another example is allowing workers to set their own schedules each day. Empowered employees work harder to meet expectations. When employees have a say in their work, it increases engagement and motivation. This is because they feel a sense of ownership and accountability to do a good job. The opposite occurs when employees feel like they don't have control over their work or aren't able to do their job. This can lead employees to feel discouraged and unmotivated. So how do you empower your workers? Employees who trust the company are more likely to feel empowered. Employees who view their leader as genuine are less likely to think they are being taken advantage of or exploited. Trust in the leader instills a sense of safety and encourages teams to take calculated risks. This enables them to be more creative and step out of their comfort zone. One way to build trust is through self-disclosure or trusting others with information about yourself. You can also delegate tasks to show belief that others can do the job. You can monitor projects without micromanaging to demonstrate that you believe in your employee's capability. You can increase trust and empowerment by listening to what your employees say. Employees want to feel heard and have a say in completing their work. Encourage management to be open to new ideas from staff. For example, an employee might approach the manager to discuss a different way to do a project or process. Some managers might not appreciate these suggestions. They might say they'll consider the idea, but don't follow through with their actions. Or they might take the idea without giving credit to the source. Such responses are disrespectful, and the employee won't feel heard or valued. Consider alternative reactions to these situations. Listen with intent and be open to suggestions. You can take things a step further and ask for ideas from employees. Listen to your teams about their ideas for approaching work and problems. This demonstrates that you value their expertise and skills. It also empowers employees to work harder since people support what they help build. Focusing on professional development can also improve employee empowerment. One part of feeling empowered is feeling you can do a good job, which means having the necessary skills and knowledge to complete required tasks. Ensure employees have the appropriate skills and knowledge they need to do the best job they can. This can include feedback or mentorship opportunities. Giving employees the ability to improve their performance can empower them to do their work and meet expectations. It's important to note that people won't feel empowered when they're punished for making mistakes. Instead, mistakes can be used as training opportunities. This shows that the company cares about employee success and gives ongoing support. Let's consider an example of employee empowerment. A CEO of a major organic food store is advised that there is a problem selling and promoting the daily manager specials. Rather than call in an efficiency expert or Six Sigma team, he asks his human resources department to initiate focus groups with the employees closest to the problem. Representatives from each team come together to brainstorm a probable cause. During this process, all focus group members are encouraged to solve the problem make suggestions, and reduce inefficiencies. This type of empowerment motivates people by instilling a feeling of worth and contribution. You've completed these lessons on defining team expectations. You learned how to set expectations based on qualitative and quantitative data. You also learned how to motivate and empower employees using various techniques. You now have the knowledge you need to improve your company's performance.